So I've had a couple of requests for a video looking at how we can utilize the mouse uh, pointer that you can see on the screen here and how you can use this obviously if you're creating your own instructional videos um, or just actually just help you navigate around the page. So the first thing to point out, um, I'm currently using the Magic uh, Keyboard which has got the trackpad attached to it um, on my iPad Pro, um, but you can actually attach uh, a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth trackpad, um, etc., to your iPad to get the same functions. So the first thing you might want to do is go into settings and then in Bluetooth, um, as long as you've got your Bluetooth device switched on, you'll be able to locate it um, and attach it to your iPad so that you can use that to control your device. Once that's connected, then you can have some additional uh, customization um, similar to, to as you can see on the screen with mine. The first thing is if you go into general, you'll notice that in the uh, section uh, underneath date and time, you'll see that trackpad will appear um, as an option. And these are just some of the basic um, control things. So the tracking of the speed, so how quickly the um, mouse pointer responds to you moving, uh, natural scrolling versus the, the normal scrolling. So when you're scrolling through something, whether you want to swipe up for the screen to go up or whether you want it to do the opposite. And then obviously the two, uh, the tap to click or the secondary uh, two finger secondary click. So again, the, the kind of tools that you might be used to when using a mouse. Now I'm on an iPad Pro and what I found is we also have accessibility features in here uh, around the pointer and that is found in accessibility and under pointer control. And within here, there are additional accessibility features, which is really what the pointer looks like on your screen. So at the moment I have a blue, pointer outline, I can change this to um, any of these colors that are set on here. And also change the width of that. Again, just makes it a little bit more obvious to see on the screen when you're using it. So very customizable um, in that sense. Um, also the size of the pointer, so you can have it you know, ob really obvious down to sort of being less um, invasive on the screen, again, depending on how you need to use it. And then this one here, this the pointer animations is actually a really nice touch. Now if I turn this off, whatever I'm on, the, the pointer just, just stays as, as a pointer. If I turn the pointer animation on though, when it goes over something which which um, can highlight as being a diff use of the pointer, obviously you can see as it changes. So at the moment it's just the circle, but when I go to a button, it's gonna outline the button. So obviously it, it, it highlights to me that I can select that area of the screen. If I go into something like pages, um, if I open up a document, for example here, then again, it changes as to what I'm doing on the screen. So if I just unlock this section here, you'll see that now I can change the size. The pointer has turned into these arrows, which highlight to me that I can obviously change them, something within that shape, etc. So again, lots and lots of things. Something else that you might notice as well is the color changes as you move across things to make sure that that contrast is there. So rather than having a dark background here, it's the lighter background, so it stands out more. So again, just it really, really clever features just to help you navigate how you use the pointer on your screen. So that's the animations. And then double tap to drag. So if I needed to drag something on the screen, again, if I jump into pages, if I double tap on that, it's gonna give me the option to, oops, give me the option to drag this around on the screen. So again, similar to how you might use a mouse in that sense. Oh, excuse me. Um, and then the, the trackpad inertia, um, and this is this is quite an interesting one again. So this is gonna pinpoint as I'm moving things, the trackpad inertia, if I move my finger across the screen, it, it carries on moving slightly afterwards. Um, and again, just depends on how you're working and whether that's a feature that, that works for you. Obviously with with the Magic Mouse, there's a similar feature where you know you can kind of push it to, to start to scroll through a page and it will continue scrolling even though you're not you're not actually scrolling. So um, for some people, it's just a quicker way to navigate themselves around websites, etc. So there we have it really. Um, lots and lots of really, really useful uses for this. Um, depending on what you're doing, I find it, and, and maybe this is why people have asked for a bit of a video on how this works. Um, because when I'm doing my videos, it helps me pinpoint the things I'm talking about. Um, if I was teaching in the classroom, again, it's it's a useful tool that the pointer on the screen so people can see the things that you're looking at. Um, but within that, some, some of those really nice features, um, such as here when I'm, I'm highlighting an app. 
you know you take control of the app and it, it wiggles around a bit so you can draw attention to it so there we go very simple video on how to use the pointer on your ipad